let's make a quilt that anyone can do, which is super simple, super beginner friendly, and super quick. Now you'll have this done within a day and all you need is fat quarters. So break out those fat quarters and start ironing them flat. Now here are all of my fat quarters freshly ironed. And if your fat quarters are cut a little weird, a little off, a little short, etc., you may want to cut them one at a time. Now I know that might be a pain in the butt, but it is because we are utilizing the whole entire fat quarter, all 18 inches by 21 inches long. Now mine are okay, they're not too funky, so I'm going to stack a few on top of each other and go ahead and get cutting. Now first you're going to want to trim up your edges. Now remember, depending how much leeway there is on your fat quarter, you may only need to trim a sliver of it off like how I'm doing. Now once your edges are cleaned up, go ahead and cut 8 5 inch by 9 inch rectangles. Once again, this will equal your whole entire fat quarter. So do take your time and also remember that you can cut them one at a time if needed. That way you can get the entire thing. Which reminds me, I will have this pattern available as always in the link down below in the description. Now, if you have been following me since the very beginning, then this pattern does look very familiar. But sadly, there was no written pattern available at that time, and it didn't even have a name. So today, we are naming it the Checkered Brick, which is now available in five quilt sizes, Baby Throw, Twin, Queen, and King. Many of y'all have been asking and messaging me for multiple sizes, so here we are. Now, also within that free PDF download, I will have a diagram slash picture of how to cut your fat quarters if you need some more of a visual. But moving forward, you're going to select two different prints and four of each print. Now you're going to lay them out in a checkerboard pattern and sew your blocks together to form rows. And then lastly, sew those rows together to complete the quilt block. And that's it. It is that simple, that easy, and they're nice big jumbo blocks to even sew together. So all you're going to do is make as many blocks as you need for the quilt size that you're making. Then once all of your blocks are made, you're going to go ahead and lay your quilt out by placing one block next to each other, side by side. And as always, sew your blocks together to form rows, and then sew those rows together to complete the quilt top. And here it is. Here's my quilt top all completed. Super simple and super easy. And this pattern is perfect for those big, lovely prints or for those fabrics that you just don't want to cut up into tiny little pieces. Now for the backing, I'm going to be using this gorgeous Floral Busy print. And for my thread choice, I am using Glide Thread in Sand, my tried and true. Now, here is the quilt all nicely quilted and finished. And I chose to do one of my favorite edge to edge quilt patterns by Carly Porter, which I will have a link down below in the description as well. And once again, this pattern will be available down below in the description. And if you would like to purchase this fabric from a store that I trust and personally shop out as well, I will have a link in the description. And if you could please take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can be notified for your next amazing quilt project.